Even when you get ugly, he still loves you. We won't see any of that today, though. Hallelujah. His love's not like our love. Praise God for that. And we can say amen. Hallelujah. His love is, is unconditional. And I know most of us have unconditional love for our children and so on. But, you know, there, there's still things that we... I notice even in, in myself, and especially as I'm operating and learning about this message of grace, there's things that I kind of do to my children. Well, all right, I wish you would have done that. I wish, wish you wouldn't have done that. And you could have done it this way, you know. Well, there is training. I understand that. But, you know, there's also times when we say things and we hang it over their head. Mm. Lord, forgive us. Listen, God doesn't hang one thing over your head. There's nothing being hung over your head. Hallelujah. You know, when there's nothing being hung over your head, you can move forward. His love is not contingent on our behavior. His love is not contingent entirely. His love is contingent entirely on His grace. Entirely. His love is contingent on the finished work of His Son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. We begin to wind down here. Turn with me to the book of Ephesians. Paul begins to pray over the people. In Ephesians 3, and I speak this over you today. Ephesians 3, starting at verse 14. Because we have to get this revelation. And I pray today that you will receive this revelation. It says, For this reason I bow my knee to the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that He would grant you according to the riches of His glory. Oh, somebody say amen. amen. To, to the riches of His glory. Yes. Not to the limitations of man but to the riches of His glory. And it goes on to say, to be strengthened with might through His Spirit in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you being rooted and grounded in what? Love. love. Being rooted and grounded in love. Hallelujah. May be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height to know the love of who? Christ. Tell me what. It's all about having a revelation knowledge of the love of Christ. When, when you understand how much Jesus loves you, there's no limitations. Come on. You can do all things through Christ to give you strength. See, you're not in the way anymore. You set yourself aside when you begin to understand His love. It goes on to say, to know the love of Christ which passes what? Knowledge. Passes the knowledge of educational things. See, it passes here and drops right in to here. Hallelujah. The things of God are spirit. Hallelujah. That's why we've been having such a difficult time with this. Because remember Adam and Eve in the garden? They gave up spiritual things for knowledge. They ate of the tree. Of what? Knowledge. <coughs> knowledge. They traded walking in the garden intimately with their Heavenly Father for something that they didn't even need. Because they already had it. Hmm. And we bought into the whole thing. Yeah. Yes. Because we have men translating the Bible. Yeah. And the translations of the Bible read Romans 8 1. For there is therefore no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. And then they had to go put that little part in for those who walk according to the Spirit, not the flesh. And that's tripped us up for years and years and years. Because you know what that does? It gives us. This emphasis, we got to be better. I'm going to tell you what, the moment you accepted Christ, yeah. Come on. you're as good as you will ever be. Yes. As you follow Christ, you will continue.
to be as good as you're. You, you can't be any more righteous. Amen. That's right. You can't earn your way. Right. We've been sold this bill of goods where we got to do certain things. Listen, if you don't sign, I'm just saying, if you don't sign up back there, you're still as good as you ever were the moment you accepted Christ. If you never do anything that, that is called on that table back there, listen, there is no condemnation.